Hi everybody, it's Sunny from Vegan Beauty Review, and today I'm coming at you with another Luminous Air video. This is exciting because I'm going to be trying on their eyeshadows, which are totally new to me. I've never tried these before. In fact, I didn't know that um, airbrushing eyeshadows were a thing until recently, and I picked out these really pretty shades from Luminous Air, and they're designed to be long-lasting. They're not supposed to budge or crease. The formula is really pigmented, and I'm really excited about the purpley shades I picked out. I've never done this before, so this is like a first impression slash try on video and I hope it goes well let's see okay we've got our handy dandy luminous air airbrushing kit and I'm just gonna jump right into this and we'll see how it goes I have shade 7 which is I don't know kind of like a light purple like a, a dusty purple and then I have shade 43 which is like a mauve color got shade 17 which is a bright grape. Looks like it has some shimmer to it. And then I have this like peachy salmon-y color, which is shade 46. Let's do this. Do this for the lid, shade seven. And then I'll define it a little bit in the crease with shade 43. I'll give it some definition with shade 17 and we'll figure out what we're going to do with shade 46 in just a bit. <laughs> I'm trying to think, what can we do with that? We'll figure it out. Use one to two drops, spray gently. Here we go. You guys, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. I'm gonna do four drops. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me turn it on. So I'm just gonna do this like all over on the lid. So you've got my mirror here. Okay, here we go. Oh dang, that works pretty fast and really well. Dang, wow you guys, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Let me add a few more drops for the other eye. Okay. Wow, you guys, that's really pretty. Okay. What do you guys think? That is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put the cap on that one. So again, that was shade seven. Dang, that is definitely like my color. Okay, I'm gonna use shade 43 to kind of define in the crease a little bit more. Don't forget to shake these up, by the way, because they do tend to separate, which is totally normal. Okay, let me do a few drops of this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do this kind of in the crease. Okay, it's kind of subtle, I think, because the colors are very similar, <clears throat> but I can tell a difference. I don't know if it translates on, through the video. Let me get this side too. Whoops. Okay, so that like a so. Wow, it really is, feels like nothing's on, it's weightless. That's what I really like about the airbrushing system in general. Um, it just feels like you're not wearing makeup at all, which is quite nice. Okay, now I'm gonna give this kind of like a smoky eye by using shade 17, which is like a deep, like a rich purple. I don't know if you guys know this, but I really like purple. I have some green in my eyes, so it kind of brings out the green a bit. Okay, there we go. Oh wow, you guys, do you see that? I'm not the best at applying it. I probably need to clean it up a bit, but the color is amazing. Let me add a few more drops. <clears throat> Whoa, you guys, that is intense. 
hands. I think I might have um, been a little too close though. Do you know what I mean? I think you're supposed to hold it back a little bit more. Let me touch it up just a bit. I mean, for a first go though, I think I'm doing all right. And um, this is definitely buildable, but I think in between layers, you definitely want to let it dry and I shouldn't be touching it. That looks really pretty, you guys. I think I might need to touch it up just a hair, only because I think I was using the stylus a little bit cl too close to my eye. I think you can go a little bit back. So you guys can see a little more close up. That's pretty cool. Okay, you guys, since I incorporated three, these three shades to kind of make a complete complimentary look, because they're all in the purple family, and then I have this kind of um, like peachy, salmon-y, earth tony, I don't know, it's like pink, like an earthy pink. Um, I decided that I would, I don't know, like do a star or something using a stencil. I don't know, we'll try. So you guys, I've never actually done eye stencils before, so I'm just kind of winging it, but I have this, these, these are actually for your nails, <laughs> but I'm gonna use them on my face. Um, and I guess I'll just do it. I don't know, you guys, where should I do it? Um, like right here? Yeah, we'll just do it right there. Let's do it right there. Ta-da! I just kind of picked a random spot. Okay, so I'm going to use that peachy pinky color, which is shade 46. Do a few drops of that. Okay. Let's turn this bad boy on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go kind of close in for this because it's a stencil and it's so little. Okay. I'm going to turn that off. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. I'm going to give it a little bit of time to dry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off. Oh, it's super subtle, you guys. Can you guys see my little star? It's almost like too subtle. It's there though. This is that super subtle and maybe not executed the most smoothly way. <laughs> but I feel like if you had bigger stencils and maybe used like a popping gold or something, it would look really cool. I'm just trying to incorporate this fourth color, you guys. Um, but this would be a really pretty lid shade, like an all over lid shade. I just didn't happen to use it with the other um, three purpley shades, but it probably would have worked just fine. But anyways, you guys, just to give you an idea that you could use, you know, stencils too, because the airbrush system makes it really easy to do that. That is my complete look. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll have prices and links and all that fun stuff below. And code veganbeauty25 saves you 25% off your Luminous Air order. And I think I went on their website today just to check out how much these cost. And they were on hella sale for like $5.99. So I'm thinking 25% off of $5.99 is a crazy good deal. So anyways, that's it for now. I hope you guys like the eyeshadow look. I was actually blown away. Um, I didn't realize how easy and quick. I chose colors that I use on a normal everyday basis. I, I tend to lean toward the purple, plums, mauves. I think it came out really pretty. I'm just gonna add some lashes and then I'm gonna go out and look beautiful. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.